this and meeting. good officially good afternoon good evening good good morning wherever you're at where part of the world what time of the day you're going to be watching this after we recorded it and put it on our youtube channel and welcome to our zoom musical time machine you'll notice today our zoom musical time machine is a little bit different than last week all of our artists got stuck within a five-year time <laughs> except for joe he went back further he went back, I think he's going back to like the 1500s. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> our, our time machine doesn't go that far back. But we have a great show planned for you and artists, uh, all your, the rest of your Fletcher artists that is going to be performing today. And um, our first artist um, is, uh, I think, somewhere back in time at the Villages, but I think we're going to have to, um, um, we're going to have to jump in our time machine, Sean, right? So on a count of three, or a countdown to three, let's get in our time machine and go back in time. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hang on. Buckle up. Don't, don't put down your window. You'll get stuck somewhere. There she is. Oh, we found you. And as I said, we have two new nicknames for our birthday girl. I used to call her Dazzling Dawn, but we just found out that she likes Dazzling Dawn or Sweet D. <laughs> yes. And Sweet D has got some sweet tunes for you today. So she, I don't know where, what year she ended up at, but she's going to tell you. So take it away, Sweet D, Dazzling Dawn. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. We are in my sophomore year of high school, 1974. Wow. So if you can remember back that far, um, a lot of you have heard this song, actually both my songs already because I did them in class. Each one of you can actually go on Patreon and get the, the, um, the arrangements for these so you can play them exactly this way as well but back in 1974 Richard Nixon was the first president forced to resign and then Gerald Ford took his place it was also a good year in sports where Hank Aaron broke Babe Ruth's home home run record he hit 715 Stephen King for those of you who like to read novels he published his first novel Carrie Ooh, that was a good one Barbara Streisand had her first hit movie, The Way We Were. And Mel Brooks had a hit movie called Blazing Saddles. And it was a wild one. If you've never seen it, look it up. Lee Majors was in the 56, no, 56. He was in the $6 million man on TV. And all the songs that were charting in 74, my sophomore year of high school, John Lennon, Whatever Gets You Through the Night, Steve Miller, The Joker, Ringo Starr, You're 16, Paul McCartney and Wings, Band on the Run, Steely Dan did Ricky Don't Lose That Number, Ray Stevens did one called The Streak, because streaking was, uh, that's pretty popular my sophomore year. The Beach Boys did Surfing USA, and ABBA did Waterloo. Okay, so we're going to play a song from 1974 by Frankie Valli called My Eyes Adored You. So here we go.
Oh my goodness, the crowd is roaring. The crowd is going crazy. Boy, they're, they're, that's coming all the way from Tucson. We got about 100 people here, Don. We got over 100 people here just to wow. watch you from our store here. I don't know how we're fitting them in here, but we can fit them somehow. Oh, yeah. Well, that they're was wonderful. From the but, you know, rumor <laughs> is that you have another song, but you have to do some traveling again. Got to go in the time machine Okay, again. Sean, take in. us in our time machine, shall you? Do that. My ears adored that song, so let's see what we got next. Oh, oh. Hang on, we're gonna land somewhere. Okay, there she is. Woo! I don't. What year did you go to this time? We're, we we didn't go back too far. We're in 1967. Oh, that's yeah. why I wasn't so dizzy that yeah. time. Yeah. Now that's when this song was actually first released. Um, it it's actually in the 70s book, but it was released in 67. So I had to go back that far so I could pick up the rest of the stuff. So who was president? LBJ was president. Um, this was an interesting year because there were a bunch of peace rallies and protests against the war. Hmm, sound like something we know? And that summer also became the summer of love where teenagers smoked pot <gasps> and listened to songs from the Grateful <laughs> Dead and Jefferson Airplane and the Birds. Now in sports, the very first Super Bowl was played and it was my team, the Green Bay Packers, yes, and the Kansas City Chiefs. And in the world of modeling, twiggy and mini skirts became the new norm for fashion models. And the first issue of Rolling Stone magazine was released. The Beatles released Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Movies that you could go to that year were The Graduate, Bonnie and Clyde, and Cool Hand Luke. Hmm. TV shows The Fugitive and The Monkees. Songs on the charts in 1967, besides the one I'm going to play, Pro Call Harem did A Whiter Shade of Pale, The Beatles did All You Need Is Love, The Monkees did I'm a Believer, The Doors did Light My Fire, Aretha Franklin did Respect, and Engelbert Humperdinck did The Last Waltz. Okay, so the song I'm going to play today is one called Nights in White Satin by a, by a group called The Moody Blues. So... Hope you guys remember this one. It's one of my favorites. Here we go.
Oh my goodness. The crowd just roars. Boy, they are just... Well, you know, I was getting ready to jump in our time machine, but I, I like I like I like nineteen sixty so seven so much I figured we'd stay in nineteen sixty seven. What do you think, folks? Is that okay? Good year. This time machine's getting me a little bit dizzy at times. I need a little break from that, you know. Um, so I think what we're going to do, since we're stuck in 1967 here, Mr. Victor Llanos here, he's got something to say about 1967. So I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Victor Llanos. Hello, everybody. Hope oh, you got to turn your microphone on. Uh, yeah, it's on. All right. So 1967 um, actually was a year that uh, What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong was released. And that was August 16th of 1967. So another um, fun fact was that the top 10 baby names of 1967 was Lisa, Kimberly, Michelle, Mary, Susan, Michael, David, James, John, and Robert. Yeah. <laughs> and also in 1967, the Big Mac was released. Oh, there we I go. I don't know. Yeah. And it was actually 45 cents. Yeah. Ooh, the 45 Big Mac. cents. And it was actually introduced as the Blue Ribbon Burger and the Aristocrat Burger. But You're making me hungry. They found it was too difficult to pronounce, so they decided to stay with the Big Mac, which was actually created by a secretary from their corporate location, the, the Big, Mac, Big Mac name, so... Yeah, and also, uh, 1967, we had the first uh, handheld calculator invented. And actually, a Super Bowl ad in 1967 was $42,000. And also, 1967, Jerome was a sophomore in high school. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, I'm, I'm going to play What a Wonderful World.
big round of applause, Mr. Victor Yanov. By the way, some of you may not be familiar with Victor. They all know him here in Tucson, but he was with us pre-COVID and then obviously when everything changed and he came back to us. So he's only been back for about nine months now, give or take. And basically he just started playing uh, the virtual orchestras within the last month, nine months. So uh, big, another big round of applause. And we now, we have to do some uh, time traveling here, I think. Um, Sean, this is going to be pretty tricky because not only do we have to time travel, but we have to um, go to another city and time travel. Oh my gosh, you got to. I, I hope I took my uh, um, Dramamine here. So let's, I think Joe Fontesha is, he's, Ooh. Joe Fontesha is really going to make us uh, dizzy because he's going to like two diff totally different time zones. So let's find Joe Fontesha somewhere. He's out there somewhere. Right, here, we go. Let's get here we go. Let's get Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh. No, he's around here somewhere. There he is. There you are, Joe. We found you. I know where you're at, but I don't know what year you're at. So let's give it up for Joe Fontesha, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, thanks, Robert. We're actually going back to the year. And turn your microphone up just a little bit or stick okay. it closer to your mouth. There you go. 1927. Can everybody hear that? No, nope. we can't hear you that well. Turn it up a little bit, to. your microphone. Tell your sound engineer to do it. Okay. Hope she's in the same year as you. Yep, I'm uh, going back in time, so I might be a little slow getting there. 1927, why did I pick that year? Uh, only because one of my favorite piano players was a gentleman by the name of Hobie Carmichael. And there was a song that he wrote at that time. But to tell you what was going on in 1927, the Film Academy, the Academy Awards was the first year that they started since the Academy Awards are coming up. That was the first year that they gave, gave awards. And it was the year of the first talkie, believe it or not, which was sung by Al Josen called the jazz singer. So that was the first talkie. Also at that time, of course, was still prohibition. So I, I was visiting some of the speakeasies at that time uh, because that was where you got your alcohol. And actually it was a bad time for many of the cities because that's when the uh, mafia and the Costa Nostra was trying to take over a lot of territories because of prohibitions all over the United States. But Hobie Kainreichel, believe it or not, graduated from uh, Indiana University as a, as a lawyer. And he tried it for a short time and uh, it didn't, he didn't like it, so he started to write music. And the first song that actually he, he got known for was a song called Stardust. Stardust has a refrain or a verse that's kind of forgotten, and I really like it. I'm going to play it on the piano, and then I'm going to play the main theme of, from Harry. Harry James is going to play that. But Hobie Carmichael then became very popular in movies, writing a lot of scores, and he won an Academy Award for a song that was in a movie, and it was called just Cool, Cool uh, Night of the Evening, and so he won an Academy Award for that song. But he wrote many, many songs, and the one you might still be playing, and we teach, believe it or not, is Georgia on my mind. Many people don't know that. He was the writer of that song. But here is the song uh, Stardust, and I'm going to start it off with the piano.
thank you, thank you. That was the year 1927. So I'm going to turn it back to Robert because we got to go to another time zone. Okay. Well, I think you're going from one one end of time to the other here. So I'm going to sit down on the bench for this one. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Hang on. Whoa. Seems like we're going a little faster now. Is it going a little faster to you, folks? Oh, hang on. We just passed 1955 and the 67. Okay. There we go. Where do we end up, Joe? We're well, going to end up in the year 1971. And that was a great year. You 1971. know why? 1971. Do you know why 71 was a great year? Why? That was the year I was born. Really? Well, I knew it was a good year. <laughs> We've been all suffering since, haven't we, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> only kidding, only kidding, I'm only kidding. The year 1971 was really unusual because that was the year that the, one of my favorite sitcoms of all time, I hope it's yours, All in the Family pr premiered. And that was, and they were on forever. That was one of the, they got away with murder on that sitcom. And if you ever see some reruns, you'll see some of the most unusual lines in TV that were milestones because they, they never were able to get away with that. Also, it was a bad year uh, because that was Madsen and the three women were convicted and found guilty for life imprisonment. Uh, also, Apollo 14 landed on the moon. And in March, another milestone, somebody that we probably found uh, on the TV for many years, Ed Sullivan had his last show in March 1971. And he brought in a lot of different famous, famous groups. Also that year in July, again, one of my favorite bands was The Doors. Jim Morrison passed away at the age of 27 of a heart attack. So that was going on at that time. And also here in Florida in October 1971, our own Disney World came to open October of 1971. So that's their 50 year anniversary I think they just had. So we now have experienced Disney World all that time. Also in 1971, I was uh, actually my promoted and got to make this my career in 1971. I was a general manager at that time for Wurlitzer Company, and I, that's when I really got into this business, doing this as a full time, so I can remember that year very well, 1971. Now, the song I'm going to do is actually from Andrew Lloyd Webber's first really big hit called Jesus Christ Superstar, and that particular show was more popular in England than it was here for a while because it was very controversial. Obviously, when you do anything that's religious on stage, people have a pro and con about it. And the way they showed it was kind of different than the way uh, we usually see religious things on stage. But they had a very, very beautiful number in that. And it was called, I Don't Know How to Love Him. And I'm gonna start with that. And then I'm gonna get a little crazy because I'm gonna do the main sound effects of the song Jesus Christ Superstar. So I hope you enjoy that part of it. So here it is. Here's the first part, which I really, really enjoy playing. The song is called, I Don't Know How to Love Him.
wild. Oh, and the crowd roars. Oh, my goodness. Way to go, Joe. Oh, my goodness. Well, we are now going to do some traveling to another year. Uh, not too far away, though. Not too far away, I think. Because we were just in, uh, what year was that? 1971, was it? Were we just in 1971, Joe? Yes, that was the year. Well, you know what? I like 1971. Why? Not just because I, that was the year I was born. But Myra has something she wants to do also in 1971. So let's see what Myra has to say about all of this. Here we go, folks. Let's hop into our time machine and go back to the year 1971. The movie that won the Academy Award was Patton. The president is Richard Nixon. A new home goes for around 25000 and the average salary is 10000 The price of a stamp is $0.08, cents, and the price of a gallon of gas is $0.40, cents, which you will never see again. Disney World opened in Orlando, and the top song of the year was Joy to the World by Three Dog Night. The voting age was lowered to 18, and the popular TV shows were the Mary Tyler Moore Show, All in the Family, The Carol Burnett Show, Bewitched, and Hawaii Five-0. The song that I chose is The Hands of Time, or Brian's Song. It's from the movie Brian's Song, which is a tribute to the football player on the Chicago Bears, Brian Piccolo. It was recorded by Michelle Legrand, Perry Como, and Johnny Mathis. I suggest you go to YouTube and listen to it sung by Perry Como. The words are absolutely outstanding. I use three rhythms in this song. I use Strings 101, I use Smooth Piano 44, and Epic Movie. I use the sounds chimes, I use strings, I use voices, I use all kinds of symphonic sounds. It's the way I like to play and I love this song.
a beautiful song. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, yes. Big round of applause for Myra Bald. Myra, that was just stunning. Where, where is she? Here she is. There she is. Wave, Myra. That was absolutely wonderful. Now, Myra, we have to jump in our time machine again here uh, and in a different location. So hang on. I know this gets us all nauseous sometimes, but we can handle it because we're not going too far down the road and not too far back in time or to a different time. So, Sean, take us away. We've got to go to Osprey somewhere. Whoa. 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 I think we've got Osprey somewhere. There he is. Oh, whew. I'm glad we didn't go too far out of time here. Andrew, take it away. No, that's too far back, too far back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. 1969. In 1969, uh, what do we have? Uh, the Woodstock Music and Arts Festival was had. It was the, the biggest music festival at that point. A Wendy's Frosty was only 35 cents. And so was a gallon of gas. We heard the words for the first time, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That was when Neil Armstrong uh, landed on the moon for the Apollo 11 with Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins, who doesn't get all the, all the renown, was floating around outside. Uh, this was the year of the final Beatles performance on the roof of Apple Records. Uh, this was also the same year that the Rolling Stones had a, a concert at Altamont that resulted in some deaths with the, uh, the hired security being Hell's Angels. Also in 1969, um, Monty Python came out, and so did Sesame Street. I'm going to be playing for you guys a song, well, it's almost two songs, really, um, uh, and uh, just before this, there was a Broadway musical that came out called Hair, and uh, it's got a lot of fun music inside of it. Uh, back in my days of doing pit orchestras, I did this one. It was probably my favorite, the most exciting of all the shows that I did. And in 1969, the group The Fifth Dimension had a massive hit with this. It was um, number one on the Billboard Top 100 for six weeks. And it's Aquarius slash Let the Sunshine And They took the first song from the show and the last song and smushed them together.
Wow, big round of applause. Big round of applause for Mr. Andrew Leach, everybody. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, boy, we got to do some other traveling here. But before we do, I'm going to just a uh, couple quick announcements. And I think uh, <coughs> Joni is uh, somewhere in time. Um, we were just in, uh, what, 1969, did you say, Andrew? Um, and somewhere nearby, somewhere near those years, Joni is floating around there. So we're going to find her in just a minute. Sean, you're the time machine guy, so you have to look out for her. But a couple quick announcements before we close off the show. Miss Joni, the, the amazing Joni Monero is going to be closing off the show today. And she's got two great song selections that I just think are perfect for today's show. Um, and first of all, <clears throat> um, just as a reminder, uh, in about uh, two weeks away or three weeks away, depending on what state you're in, we have um, a day of music the Magic of Music with Dennis All in your local story areas. And we are going to be recording some of those events, some pieces to it. And I will, I'll give, I'll clue you in as we get a little closer. So I'm, I'm not going to give you too much information right now. But stay tuned in because um, we're going to have some of that uh, uh, recorded uh, for those who are not in the local areas. Um, but we have a lot of people signing up. We are getting to the point where we're actually running out of room in some of our locations. So if you haven't signed up for a day of music with the magic of music with Dennis All, make sure you register with your local store now. And um, heck, I always say it's a great time to meet us in person. So if you're out of state, buy a plane ticket and come meet us in person, right? Don's agreeing with me. I agree with that too. We'd love to see you in person if we can. Um, but if you can't, we have other ways that we're going to at least try to get you some of that information. And before, again, before I turn it over to Joni, because I, I think it looks like Sean's uh, time machine is kind of broken right now. He's, he's, he's repairing it right now as we speak, because um, we're kind of stuck in 69 right now. What, what, what are you doing there? Oh, it looks like Sean. I was pretending to fix it. Are you repairing it? There he is. Oh, yes. He can do everything. He can repair time machines. He can do stuff uh, anyway uh, oh wait oh, oh is that the special time machine tool let me see uh, yes it's called a phillips screwdriver oh they made it so just folks time machine. you yeah. heard it right here on fletcher music center zoom musical first at fletcher music um that's how you fix your uh, time machine that's all you need yeah all right last but not least i want to say thank you to all of you for being such great patrons and uh, uh and supporting us and joining us online and in store and both and without you we don't have a fletcher music centers just remember that um and your support is very important so spread the word tell your friends tell your friends to join us online in person we have great beginners models that start as low as uh, some cases five hundred dollars or a little higher uh and they come with lessons for life for free um so i would spread the word and tell everybody and and, and just in case you know there's it's always a good time to think about your next model upgrade hint hint oh the people behind me think that's a great idea so we have some amazing product on our stores but interestingly enough we don't have a lot of everything so uh rumor out there is there's a marquee floating around out there somewhere a one of a kind there's rumor that there's one rialto flown around out there one of a kind some very rare special items so contact your pa for further details with that said sean it looks like your time machine is now officially fixed so we have to uh, take a detour here go to a different time zone we got to find joni somewhere where is she what time is she? There she is. Oh, and that's perfect time machine traveling attire. That's, that's what I should wear when I go time traveling. Take it away, Joni. Thank you, Robert, and good afternoon, and thanks for joining us. Um, I'm going to 1970, um, and the song I'm going to do is a gospel song, actually. Uh, put your hand in the hand it was written by jean mccullen um, and later done by ann murray 
and it had a message to it of you should trust in God. So that's what I got off of the Wikipedia information, which I didn't actually know that fact myself. So um, looking forward to doing that for you. In the meantime, some fun facts. CBS sold the New York Yankees for $10 million that year. Interesting. The Super Bowl of uh, seven, the Miami Dolphins beat the Washington Redskins. So I don't remember any of this, but they tell me. Um, George Foreman wins the Boxing World Heavyweight Championship. And the first cellular phone call was made. That was interesting. Also, the World Trade Center opened. And Charlie Brown Thanksgiving premiered that year. So that was a good year for some fun facts. And I'm going to do put your hand in the hand. Big round of applause. Okay. Well, Joni, we're going to take you on another track. You're going to, to another year. And while we're doing that, we want you to turn up your organ just a little bit. On the It was perfect and then went all the way down for some reason for most of the song. Yeah, so whatever, whatever happened there, we'll turn it back up for the last number here because we definitely want to hear you. But first, we've got some other important matters. We've got to get in our time machine. Don't we, Sean? Here we go, folks. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Whew. One made me a little dizzy. Did we get there? I can't hear your microphone. Did we get there? Now let me pause it for a second here. Here we go. Okay, so we're going back up to 1973. Actually, it was performed in 1975. But I wanted to give you some other interesting thing. Some popular products was the Bic lighter, Dawn dishwashing soap, and hula hoops. Remember those? And I remember this for my dear mother. 
the avocado and harvest gold appliances were popular. So the top musical was a pajama game, which was kind of neat. If you hadn't seen that, check it out. And the music groups that, that were really popular then were the uh, Beach Boys, Chicago, Jackson Brown, all those kinds of groups. So that was really kind of fun. There's another fun fact for you. When I was eight years old, I was able to do about 500 hula hoops things. <laughs> I did it 500 times. I counted it. There you go. And then I got hungry and went to go eat something. There you go. It's nice to step back for those fun facts because fuel was 36 cents. Ouch. Compared to today, right? Now there's a four in there with a period. <laughs> A new house was $32,500, and a car was $3,543. So that really tells you how far we've gone. So the song I'm going to do is Love Will Keep Us Together. Captain and Tennille actually recorded it in 1975. So here we go. And thanks again for joining us. And a big round of applause, Johnny Mandero. Thank you, thank you. And while we're at it, big round of applause, 
to Andrew Leach and Myra and Victor and Don and Joe Fontesha. There he is, everybody. Well, we thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you so much, and stay safe. Keep playing music, and wah! Yeah. Take care, everybody. Bye. 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 Really enjoy. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.